Awesome Magazine. Hello once again. I'm your host, Doc Rotten, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week, my co-host Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dreyer, Christopher G. Moore, and myself. We'll take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we are reviewing Children of the Corn, released 2023. IMDb says 2020. It's one of those long birth movies. <laughs> I don't know. We'll get into it. Uh, let me introduce the rest of the crew, starting off with the one and only Jeff Moore. Jeff, how you doing, sir? Doing good. I'm a long ways from the corn. Long ways from the corn. Oh, not yeah. really. You're not. not you're closer not to the corn than we are. Well, no, so, not right now. Oh, that's right. Not right now. You're in. Otherwise, he would be California. in the corn if he, he was at home. Yeah. He who walks behind the road. I, I live. Uh, <laughs> Amongst the <laughs> mm-hmm. Also joining this week is Crystal Cleveland, the Living Dead Girl. How are you doing, Crystal? I'm doing great. I'm excited about talking about this. It's been a long time, so it was. The, was it worth it? Was the wait worth it? Was it? Find was out. it? Was it? Find out. All right. Also joining this week is award-winning filmmaker Christopher G. Moore. How are you oh, doing? No. If he pulls up a corn cob, I'll die. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Where's he, where's he hiding that corn well, cob? I, I will. <laughs> you know what? That's the mystery that you always have to figure oh. out. You never know. I'm Ooh. I'm doing amazing. <gasps> oh. Boom, boom, ding. You know, rounding before, out the before crew. toilet paper, there was Sears and Roebuck catalogs. Before Sears and Roebuck catalogs, there was corn cobs. What? Jeff. Babe, what? Jeff, what? Yeah. Well, you know, no. I, I do. What? No. Well, what? you know, I won't tell you. I, I have. Oh, no. Uh, what does it mean? I got to know. Oh, I won't man. tell you. I, I, I work for the state of North Carolina and and it, I've been there for 20 years and they give this catalog of things you can pick. And one of the things they pick was actually like a, like a, one of those old timey liquor jugs with a with a corn cob stuck in. <laughs> what? He uses a stopper. <laughs> I love it when you call stuff old timey because I know. When you're not on here, you're you're talking about. No, I'm just talking I'm about like on the <laughs> on the Andy Griffith show, and the people would have, you know, that kind of uh, right, right, liquor right, jug. Right, right. Oh my right. gosh! But what did Jeff? So mean people still? used to use. All right, all right, all right, right everybody. Not coming back to me. <laughs> also joining us this week, rounding out the crew, is the one and only Dave Come, come on, we, we have to answer Crystal's question. We can't yeah, leave her what, hanging. What does it no. mean? Jeff, go ahead and demonstrate it's what they do. Drive with the me crazy. I'm not demonstrating. <laughs> In the old tiny days in outhouses, they used Sears and Roebuck catalog pages and corn cobs. You mean to wipe your booty? Is it's, that what yeah. you're talking like, yes. yeah. It's like the three shells. And, and you called us heathens man. for using toilet oh. paper and not bidets. Yeah. You, I, remember I mean, I'm mortified right now. I'm like, but maize. The, um, the true yeah. meaning, the true true meaning of corn poop. Just stick it in the uh, crack like that. But <laughs> what? Back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, no. It's so well, We're starting this podcast. It's so so up right. All right. For those who are here for the review. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, and you do know <laughs> Elvis' to... last words, right? What? Wait, my He's on the toilet. He said corn. <laughs> he said corn. Is that corn. real? Children of corn. <laughs> it's a joke. It's oh, right. okay. What I'm we're like, going wow. to do tonight. I'm like, what we're going and to then do I heard from Willie Nelson. Reel, reel this back in. Reel it in. <laughs> what we're doing tonight is uh, we're going to give you our first impression of uh, the movie. That will be spoiler free. Uh, my God, we will not get into spoilers. And we'll get into spoiled anything yet. And we will get into spoilers then. And then uh, we'll wrap things up with our score one uh, to five. Mm, yeah. And our favorite scene, one to five, one to five, one oh, to yeah. five. And our favorite scene. And then, uh, yeah, all that's happening. Um, let's Wait. get into the card and get this ah, thing going. There we go. Whew. Whatever. <laughs> Children of the Corn. <laughs> I'm officially calling this a 2023 film from RLJE Films. Uh, available in select theaters on March 3rd. Available digital and on-demand March 21st, 2023. Synopsis, um, the film describes the events leading up to and including the massacre of the adults of a small town in Nebraska by their children <clears throat> after the adults irresponsibly ruin the crop and the children's future. Uh, irresponsible adults. Written and directed by Kurt Wimmer. The cast includes Alina Campuras, Kate Moyer, uh, Callum Mulvey and Bruce Spence. Who knows who Bruce Spence is? 
Mm, no, not me. Uh, Who is Road, he? Road Warrior. He was the the one guy that flew around in the plane. But anyway, oh my god! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, the whole time I'm like, I've seen this guy somewhere before, mm. yeah. and that's where I saw him. Oh, Long wow. time ago. All right, uh, <laughs> let's get into this. Let's find out what we thought, Dave, sir. You are the Stephen King fan among us. Uh, what was your first impression of Children of the Corn? Well, you know, this really has nothing to do with Stephen King's story uh, at uh, all. Uh, other than the fact that there are children and there is corn. Uh, but other than that, um, yeah, they took a lot of liberties. I mean, the name of the town's not even the same. I mean, in all the other movies, it was Gatlin, Nebraska. And this is, I don't, I don't even remember what this is, but it's not Gatlin. Um, but with that being said, um, all in all, I, I, when it comes to the Children of the Corn films, uh, with the exception of the first one, I actually kind of enjoyed this one. Uh, I, I don't know that I've even seen anything past two or three uh, in that original series. But um, yeah, so we, we, we get uh, the killer kids. Uh, I kind of like the fact that uh, uh, King's story never really told us why or what happened. It begins just like the original film with our two people driving cross country and a body flies out of the corn and they run it over and they try to take it into town to, uh, to find help. And they discover the entire town is desolate except for murderous kids. But here we get the whole backstory about how the, the local government uh, bought into the uh, crop dusting or whatever, and it killed the corn, which killed the economy. And uh, yeah. And the kids start worshiping. Uh, it's not he who walks behind the rose here. It's just he who walks. Yeah. There's no yes. rose, so no, no rose. They no, don't no, say no. it. Yeah, it's just he who. It's just he who walks. It, it, it's on the side of a building at one point, and she mentions him a couple times about appeasing he who walks. Uh, but I did like the fact that we at least got a beastie this time. We never seen a beastie, uh, uh, at least in any of the ones I did. I mean, uh, granted, yeah. it was a it was a, a, a poorly executed CGI beastie, but mm -hmm. it was still a beastie. It was there. Um, yeah. So. Uh, you know, I I thought the performances were pretty strong. Uh, I felt bad for our uh, our main character, Bo, with that horrible haircut she had to wear through the whole thing. <gasps> oh, I a, love uh, it. Oh, okay, that's interesting. It's a very very distracting haircut. I got used to it. It was. But, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I think the little girl was great, and I thought she was very strong. Uh, I can't believe neither uh, none of you people recognized the 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 pastor dude from all the Avenger movies he was in. Uh, the guy that plays the the father, the pastor, he was like in. Winter Soldier. He was in Endgame. He was in hmm. a couple other things. I can't remember his name right now, but I'm like Bruce, Bruce, Bruce Spence. Was that him? Was That's that him? him? That's the guy I mentioned. Oh, okay. Right oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So I recognize him from the from those movies. But anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I, I I actually enjoyed this. I thought it, it was way better than I was expecting. Good. All right. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Crystal Cleveland, you're up next. What was your first impression of Children of the Corn? Okay, so uh, I loved her hair. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. It was a little distracting, though, because I did totally notice it a little bit too much. But that's a haircut not every person could wear. And she has has a beautiful, like, long neck. She's She's got such a, like, sorry, I'm totally going off on this. But she has a beautiful <laughs> face, and I think it works for her, shockingly. Um, the acting, I think, by the two female leads is great and fabulous. Um, here's the thing. I really, I, I, I liked the movie. I didn't necessarily love it. Um, the story is interesting. I like how they have this horrible sheriff in this horrible town. And, you know, I mean, I kind of get behind Stephen King and a lot of his stuff because, you know, usually adults maybe deserve to die and the kids are innocent <laughs> i get it okay i can get behind that story and i guess you still kind of have that here um <clears throat> it it shot well uh i i can't i really i'm so disappointed that the monster was cgi i loved that we got to see it as well but i didn't love it at all if it had been practical i think oh my gosh that would have that probably would have been a game changer for me, for the movie. I probably, it would have upped the game for this movie. I, it looked really fake and that's unfortunate. And I like the kind of the concept of it. I mean, what else would it be? It makes sense. Um, 
And then they have a Nightmare on Elm Street type ending, which, okay. You know, I mean, it gets a little a little campy and weird at that that last little extra bit. Um, but I, I, I kind of liked it. It's, it's Children of the Corn. It's, I don't, I, I, if you've seen the movies, I think that you know what you're going to get. And that's what they delivered. Um, the kids were good. I mean, some of the gore was not good and we don't see it all. So that was a little awkward, but I think uh, it's, 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 it was entertaining. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Jeff Morser, what was your first impression of Children of the Corn? Oh God, I'm I'm sorry, Dave. I <laughs> I wanted to like this. I just didn't like this. I <laughs> didn't like the lead character. I, I I I can't say that there was any characters that I liked. Um. Anyway, and the CGI just really threw me. It yeah. just seemed like it was uh, melodramatic. And maybe I should say too, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of the children of the corn we did children of the corn on 80s uh not too long ago the, the first one so it's not one i've been a big fan of and i haven't watched i maybe watched one of the other ones so i i can't relate at all how it fits into these but the uh i don't know the the eden seemed i don't know i guess she was supposed to be uh, she just seemed a little too precocious and uh Bo seemed too mature for, I don't know. It's, I, I don't know. I just didn't buy it. I just didn't like, <laughs> I don't know why. I tried to watch it twice. Oh, wow. Couldn't do it because I figured I'm missing something. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, I'm sorry. I didn't like it. Didn't like it. Oh, no. Christopher G. Moore, sir. What was your first impression of children of the corn? The 90s called. They want their CGI back. Um, mm. Trans corners. Uh, <laughs> Cornfields in disguise. It looked like a, like a corn version of a transformer, but bad. Um, yeah. This is a thing. It's a movie. Um, it sounds like me. It's, it's, it's shot well, although 20% of it is just uh, either drones going over cornfields or or cameras going through cornfields. The movie would probably be an hour if you took all the corn shots out. Uh, I was like, is it, what is this, a, a bad Michael Bay movie? Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, th I, I thought the little girl was was a fun villain. I'd I, I think the the main uh, protagonist, she just had this one mode of like, you know, just <laughs> reacting to things, and uh, you know, and no matter what crazy visuals, <laughs> she doesn't believe what's going on. I'm like, okay, uh, and actually, probably all this stuff probably wouldn't happen if she hadn't <laughs> stuck her nose. She probably just should have went to college, um, <laughs> but uh, uh, I don't know. I just found her to be annoying. Uh, oh, she was a little. And, uh, and maybe that's part of it, I guess. But then it's like the editing is bad in parts. There's parts that are just that, that all the work that goes into like creating special effects, the editing just made it even worse. Um, and there's bad, there's badly edited, um, you know, action scenes. There's, uh, and then the story is about as erratic as, you know, trying to find your way through a cornfield. It, it it doesn't make any, and then the ending doesn't even make any sense. You, <laughs> I, I I mean I don't I don't know I don't. <laughs> that's why I don't want to go into spoilers, but yeah, the, the, you know, and you can see they're like, oh, we're we're gonna pull our we're gonna pull our little carry at the very end. Um, mm, and that they do. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I, 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 I'm more in Jeff's camp. I, I, you couldn't pay me enough to watch this again. But um, I I mean, I think it's shot well. Um, but I, I found a lot of the movie to be very tedious. And the story is all over the place and doesn't make sense. And then there's not. And then there's things that just like, oh, we need to put this in here for for this character to do this. And when it comes to screenwriting, you need to have some kind of rationalization, not just randomly 
I'm going to do this thing. Uh, and then, then, then to claim, Oh, this is my plan. All the, all, no, no, it wasn't. Um, anyway, I'm not, a. I, I, I will say I'm not, a. I, I like Stephen King adaptations. I, I'm a big, you know, Stephen King is one of my favorite uh, writers. Uh, I've read a lot of his books, but children corning has never really worked for me. And this is par for the cornfield when it comes to <laughs> Stephen King adaptations. I, and I, I don't think this, this adds anything new other than them trying to create the, whatever creatures in that field. But it, I, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, not a fan of this. Not a fan. Can I, can I interrupt you for just a second, doc? Um, sure. uh, we, we need to, I need to straighten something out. The person Doc or the person Dave was talking about. He, yeah, I was getting ready to say that he's talking oh, about. Oh, okay. The, well, I'll let you. Yeah, you, you, you were taking you're taking the thunder. Yeah. So he when he said father, I was thinking he's he was talking about the pastor, right. which is Bruce Spence. But he was talking about the kid's father, who the was Kalen father, Mulvey, yeah. who was in who was in Captain America: uh, okay. The Winter Soldier and in Endgame. Um, but yeah. So sorry, Dave. Threw under bus a little bit for that. I you wouldn't have said something. I no <laughs> uh, you, you threw me when you said father. I was, you know, being yep, I, was, I, was I was. I was thinking that was like he. I don't think he was in any of the Avengers movies. <laughs> no, no, Bruce Spence wasn't in any of the movies. I was Unless like, he's flying a movie. helicopter from Mad um, Max. But he yeah, was in Star Wars three though. Yeah, yeah. He, he played one of the line people. Bruce Spence. Um, yeah. yeah, one of the one of the. Hmm. I don't. It doesn't matter. We're talking about this movie. <laughs> You guys are killing me tonight. All right. Um, I, I I actually enjoyed this movie. It's not a good okay. movie. And I, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't know if I would recommend it, but I, I had fun. I had fun with it. I thought it was a fine entertain me. It kept me interested and the CGI is bad, but it didn't bother me. I liked the concept of the creature enough to, to go for it. So I, it, it was a bit, I, I think it was a bit bare, though. It didn't really have much new to say other than they switched around some of the kids. And it kind of made me miss the two lead bad guys from the first movie who I can't remember what the Malachi. Malachi. Like Malachi. And, and, yeah. um, oh, God. There, were, there was something kind of special about that little kid with the hat and yeah. the grown up, little kid with the grown up face. But um, uh, this girl does an adequate job of taking his place though and adequate's underselling it she does a really good job i mean she she plays evil and she she even scoffs a little bit it's she's she's much better than everybody else around her which is interesting um yeah i mean it's it's not gonna it's not gonna make the top of anybody's list but i don't i'm not gonna put her on the bottom of any any list yeah either so there you agreed. go agreed yeah. yeah, it's more like it put Veruca Salt in Children of the Corn. Well, no. one of the things that threw me was this. I still don't even know what the heck was going on when they put that, was it Halone or Helling gas oh, Hal thing. into this? Are you yeah. killing me? Are you kidding me? What? And they killed? Why they did it, you mean? That, that's just. it was. It's odd, but I guess they're just trying to show how. They're just how trying evil to make the, the parents the, were. The, or the sheriff, well, really, well, that, the sheriff. How well, that the sheriff was well then then but then I got confused because like they were they gassed him in the in the uh, the prison or not the the prison cell or whatever, and then they, then they show the people in the hole and at first I thought they moved the people from the prison cell into the hole and I was kind of confused and they're like oh wait a minute that's a different and different so things people. like that yeah there's a different group of people but the whole time I'm like because everybody because <laughs> you just had a bunch of rednecks together and <laughs> they just looked all like the same thing. <laughs> It was and, confusing. Yeah, that. yeah. So things like that, just editing wise, didn't really work. And then you have other things where, just the, like the, there's the uh, we're in Spoilerville, but when she's like clawing at the guy's eyeballs, the, and, yes, and it, it's really badly yeah. edited. And then when they show like, <laughs> it's almost like they just put two flat eye things on his face and it looks so yeah one of the worst things i've great. ever seen yeah you know then the next minute she's pulling off things that actually look like more three-dimensional eyeballs and i'm like that's like first of all you have bad editing you have bad special effects and then th th it doesn't connect and things like that didn't didn't really work you know at least not for me 
I, I, that was one of my favorite scenes is the eyeball scene. <laughs> really? I, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, it wasn't like horrible, but I'm with Christopher that it was odd when it showed her and it was kind of hard to tell what she was doing and I couldn't, I, I totally edited. get it. Yeah. He's, it, yeah, it was an odd it was an well, I did, I did wonder at first, like, is that his eyeballs or is that his nuts? What did she do? I thought um, so, too. Yeah. I because, did, and the too. Reason, and the because, reason why is yeah. because they, knew, they, they said he sinned. Yes, and, and you well, assume. Figured, you make your you know, assumptions. Yeah. You sinned, yeah. and the kids know about it. You know what you did, you little shit. Well, well you, let's be you know real. I, I mean, didn't we all think that the moment he's, I mean, he was mm. creepy as heck. Yep. I was like, dude, no, I don't want to go live with you. No, you good. He was like the preacher from yeah. Poltergeist too. So yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Oh, In fact, yeah. if they ever remade mm. Poltergeist and they had that creepy priest preacher, I think he yeah. would work well. There you go. I agree. Uh, this next image is for Christopher. This is Bruce Spence in Star Wars. Oh, oh. awesome. Go. Okay, that makes sense now. I did not know that. Um, I will say, probably the I had the one intentional laugh I had was when the the trans i'm gonna call him trans corner because that's what he is uh when he takes that woman and <laughs> yes her half, and then he takes her like like two like fruit rolls and does yeah, this little thing and i laughed so hard because it was so ridiculous idiot idiotic uh, and it was yeah. but he was already fake but just how he just sort of like i, I almost like he was Shook like trying to get mm -hmm. out of off his hands or something yeah, <laughs> i was like it was uh, oh, shaking yet, the yet, sauce yet, off yeah yet, yet another favorite scene and he's oh my god all right i like bad stuff it seems <laughs> no that's like one of my well, favorite scenes because yeah. it made okay. me laugh laugh so hard i laughed so long after that i was like that's so stupid but it made me laugh i mean we did get some i mean there are some gory scenes with like the 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 friends the friends and the yeah the finding aftermath, the friends. yeah well we did yeah except for, i think the only killing we get to see is, is the eyeball pulling out and well, the one, the I, I will, one girl around i will say when um when that guy and the, one of the kids takes the bat to the, oh the guy yeah the, the face looked oh, good yeah. the yeah. face looked good I, although it seemed a little bit of CGI as well there was a little bit it was, seemed a little bit off but uh, I will say it, it was effective yeah, I, like that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind that as much as other things yeah it was good that was good and shocking too that was actually a shock yeah I was mm -hmm. really I was kind of upset that he got he was one of the ones I liked the most you didn't want him getting murked mm -hmm. although I, what <laughs> things, well again the the, the all the stuff with towards the end with the kids that are still alive I, they just killed a bunch of people i know and <laughs> what, oh, it, what's gonna happen the, to them the, the way the brother and this is the how they always work they the way the brother was like to his sister and i'm like oh no oh hell no things are not okay he just dude okay killed, no he just helped kill his own mom yeah and he <laughs> was kind of he was gonna kill her yep i was like this yeah. doesn't make any sense mm -mm. yeah this is all a prequel right i guess it's a prequel to Right, uh, right setting it up so i don't know dave dave in the world of stephen king where does this film sit it's got nothing to do with any of it uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean i think kurt weimer just kind of he just took it and ran with his own thing i mean he he produced this he wrote it and he directed it i mean this of all his credits he's written a ton of stuff directed a handful produced a handful this is the only thing he's ever done that he was all three pieces of the pie so, uh, yeah, this has nothing, it has literally has nothing to do with the Stephen King story in any way, shape or form, other than the fact that there are children and there is corn. Yeah, it is, um, his, it is his third remake in a row writing. Um, he did the Total Recall remake and the Point Break remake uh, and then Children of Corn. So, yeah, so yeah, this has nothing. I mean, the, the, the yeah. town name isn't the same. I mean, the, the story is a short story and it's it, it, this short story is more about renetic uh, religious fanaticism and you know uh, us teaching our children uh things and then being upset when they take them literally <laughs> yeah. and uh and uh, you know it was more of a narrative on that than anything else and uh the the first movie kind of got that a little bit but not really it became more about the Linda Hamilton's character's journey uh, mm -hmm. but uh this has nothing to do with Absolutely any of that. None, 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 none. This is just a, a creature feature. Just a creature why, feature. Why were the adults acting so weird? I, I, 
like at the very beginning, you have those two people that are trying to battle each other, trying to sweep the sidewalk. And I was like, what is happening? This is not... I, I, I took it that it was supposed to be some type of a side effect from the pesticide or whatever they were mm. using on the okay. oh, well, Maybe so. so that I mean, that's how, that's how I took it because all those early opening shots of like the cornfields and they were green and then they blow brown and then they blow back green again. You know, there's like no, oh, something, was, something I, in the air. I thought it was things. bad color correction. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the lead girl mentioned something about yeah, it. She talked about the it a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, the, that there's residue on the corn. Don't get it on you. Yep. Don't get it on you, man. And then the, her best friend has the car, leaky, leaky gasoline car parked out in the field where he somewhere he's growing some pot, but never saw it. I and don't it, know the whole the whole. Yeah, they had to have a way to catch the foreign cornfield on fire. Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah, yeah. just yeah. automatically. Oh, I I smoke now. <laughs> yeah, well, not only that. So she's been running around spraying this gasoline around. I mean, that, that's yeah. Was that the idea? That was the track that she ran yeah. on. That the I mean, never mind. I assumed. Yeah, yeah, never mind that the gas tank was ruptured like a day and a half before it actually happened. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and, so the gas would just be evaporated. That, but then okay. when she lights it. She's no longer apparently flammable, I guess. I was thinking I was waiting for her to go. <laughs> her hand hit it. Yeah. Uh, well, that that so... is that is she 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 said like five or six lines. Like you'll never yeah. you never and knew I what I was her. doing. She, 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 I would have shot, shot her. her. Yeah. I this is her what I was going to. This was my plan mm. all along. Like, what are yeah. you? What is she a James no. Bond villain? No <laughs> monologuing. No monologuing here. All right. Let's, uh, exactly. Let's, Let's switch gears and give us our uh, our score one to five, and our favorite scene. Dave Dreher, I am curious to hear what you have to share. Uh well, I, I mean, I think we did a nice job on this one. Everything that's been said is one hundred percent true. It is not a good movie. I expected this to really, <laughs> really suck. I mean, like really suck. And I actually enjoyed it a little bit. So I'm going to give it a two and a half. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because mm -hmm. I, I the, the both of the female leads were strong. Uh, there was some decent gore. Uh, I really liked the concept of the uh, creature. I do wish they could have found a way to pull it off at least somewhat practically. Oh man, it would have been um, awesome and practical. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it would have uh, it would have really kicked butt. I, I really liked the whole concept, and that kind of leads into my favorite scene. It was just a, a small moment, but um, and uh, I think you can attest to this, Jeff. Corn's creepy. Corn is just fucking it creepy. Is. It absolutely. is. I mean, I live my next door to me is a cornfield. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and uh, it's just fucking creepy. You go out at five o'clock in the morning to go to work and you swear you hear something in that goddamn corn. But the the scene with Bo and she's walking home from somewhere. I'm not sure where she's going, but she just senses something in the corn. And she kind of stops and she squints and you can kind of see something's there, but you're not really sure. It might just be the leaves going back and forth, but it kind of looks like something's looking at you. And it just jeeves her out and she crosses the street and walks the other way. But I thought that was a really effective scene. I really liked that quite a bit. There you go. She so ends up out in the middle of the road, which is... Yeah. I hate it when they don't walk down the middle of the road. <laughs> they really do. <dumb>. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal, you're up next. What is your score one to five in your favorite scene? Okay, so I liked it a little bit more than ever. I'm going to give it a 2.75. Noise. Yeah. I mean, I did like the kids. I it's a Children of the Corn movie. So, um, I mean, we I we kind of bashed it, but it is a Children of the Corn movie. So. It's not that, it's pretty good for the Children of the Corn movie. That's just, you know what to expect. Come on, come on, come on. You're horror lovers. Um, I have a couple favorite scenes, actually. Some of it I found really funny. Um, and I, I, I don't care. Oh, God. I, no, I just have to go with it. It's like when she blips into the car and then she's like, Eden is hilarious. And she's like, it's past my bedtime. Like it was, <laughs> I don't know why, but that struck me so funny. It was just so funny. And it's, it was like such an adult childish thing to say that it was, I thought it was very cute. I like that line. And um, she's just like, I'm just, I'm ready to go to bed. Can we just get this over with now? Can I just kill you? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so. And we're all like, yeah, hurry up. Mm -hmm. um, all right, Jeff Moore, <laughs> what was your <laughs> score and favorite scene, Children of the Corn? Um, 
Well, I'm going to stick with what I was thinking originally. So I'm giving this to uh, favorite doop. scene. Um, I'm I'm taking. Oh no, I shouldn't do that. You do well, I'll let Doc have the other one. I, <laughs> no, I'll take the end one. I when the I liked. I know the CGI was terrible, but I liked that whole look of the last thing when the creature morphs out of it. I don't want to spoil it too much, but uh, when when they think everything is gone and Bo is walking along, and that was cool. You talking the Nightmare on Elm Street scene? Uh, okay, <laughs> is that what it was? The ending, I don't know. The ending, ending, you know, the, the very ending. ending. Yeah, the very ending. which one you're saying? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Well, when when the Eden shows back up, yeah, okay. she's yeah. and and is nothing dies in the cornfield. Mm -hmm. Nothing exactly. Dies That's the, the corn. And by the way, corn is creepy. The leaves rustle against each other, and when you're growing up, if you grow up anywhere in at least Iowa in any decent sized cornfield. Your parents are totally freaked that you're going to wander into the corn and get lost. So, I would imagine you could get lost. You could, there. yes, and be a children of, of the corn. corn. Uh, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, then let me introduce you to Christopher <laughs> G. Moore, uh, sir. What is your your score one to five? Your favorite scene? Yes, this has children. It has a corn, but that's not an excuse for. <laughs> for calling it children corn. Um, uh, I'll give this. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that face. He thinks so hard. I'll give it a two. Oh. Ooh. Um, generous. Um, well, it's, <laughs> it's shot well in parts. I mean, there, there's a lot of sort of light, you know, coming off of the distance that kind of stuff so it's shot well in parts but it's not edited well um i will uh as for favorite scene i i think uh <laughs> i call it the the fleshy twizzler scene where mm -hmm. the yes, just, yes. just rips the person apart and goes like this and <laughs> Flings her but it's at the, the part that makes me laugh is where it's just it's, it's looking it's looking at this like it doesn't know what it is it just throws it and it's so stupid uh but it, because it made me laugh out loud and that, that was the one time i was actually entertained by this film the is one that time. wacky one time. cgi you know corn stock transformer so there you go yeah i like all that yeah <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> All right. Uh, so for me, I'm I'm going to give this uh, a two point seven five as well. Okay, good. As Crystal. So uh, I I I mean, I had a good time with it. It it's not a great film by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it's it's uh, I think it's professionally done. I I mean, the CGI is subpar, but I think that's a victim of maybe a combination of budget and COVID. Um, but at the same time, the concept behind it, I thought, really worked. I liked the look of it. I just like, I, uh, but I do think it would have benefited with a, uh, like you guys are saying, if they had at least somewhat of a practical effect at points, you know, and then filled in the the, the difference with some CGI. I think that would have worked. You know, I had some things crawling on it or whatever. Uh, my favorite scene, <clears throat> one of the scenes I I was. I was waiting for the entire movie, so I'm going to go with this. When it, the the he who walks in the corn or whatever um, actually comes out of the corn for the first time, and the girl's hanging up the 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 oh yeah the uh, the uh, I guess she's the the, the, jur the journalist right the reporter, mm -hmm. and she's hanging up there. And she can't see it. She's trying to look around. I, I just thought that scene was interesting. I wanted to see more of the creature, but I thought that was a good way to handle. Your, your creature at that point you know everybody you get the shock from everybody looking at it so i i had a good time with that um and then you see her getting yanked off into the <laughs> into the corn i thought her arms were going to get pulled off when she was tied to that chain mm -hmm. and he was yanking on her yeah. like, oh, this, oh this is gonna get good no nope, she just feels free. but anyway uh so yeah I, i'm gonna go with that as my favorite scene um because that's to be honest uh, for a children of the corn movie, that's what I was waiting for. I wanted the the creature. We'd have I 
if if they had the creature in any of the other children of corn, I never saw that version. I, you know, yeah. other than other than rolling underneath the corn, mm -hmm. right? Because in the oh, first yeah, one, the corn always moves. You're right. It was always yeah, I mean, it was always it's always the idea earth, of it. Right? Yeah, yeah. It was kind of a kind of a corn Groot. Yeah, yeah, corn Groot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But before or, or, an, or an anemic swamp thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that works that works yeah. it kind of looks like a leshy too like the shape of it which is kind of cool there you go Leshen. all right well you have is? i do not the witcher um, ah uh, uh you're the only one knows that uh yeah. except for all our fans all our <laughs> listeners you're on the panel uh <laughs> well there you go you can catch children of corn it is in theaters on the third of march and then later in the month it'll be on DVD and uh, VOD, and then eventually it'll make its way to Shutter this year. So yeah, check it oh, out. It's totally worth watching on Shutter. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. check it out and let us know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, if you enjoyed this review, and we hope you did, hit the like, subscribe, share with a friend button, uh, and help us reach our goal of 5, what's up, Jeff? I, I just want everybody to know we've never talked about different methods of toiletries before so don't think oh. that's a regular part of the show <laughs> and maybe but, it'll become a new part but, of the it, show. but it may be but yeah the ways you can wipe your butt with it may be non -toilet paper. i mean i could see using the husks but why would you use the corn not the corn the cob the cob that's why you rotate it <laughs> Ew! oh you mean after you eat the corn there's no corn well, out of there. You're not that eating would, it. <laughs> that would be I don't understand. Horrible. I don't understand, okay? <laughs> Remember what I said about not talking about this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not meant to flavor the corn. Um, yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's mm. get out of here while the getting okay. is good. Jeff, yeah. Crystal, maybe Crystal, okay. Dave, Christopher, thank you for joining me. Uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Adios. Learned so much. So much. <laughs> so much <laughs> send all your corn cobs to crystal at uh <laughs> no. all right um let's get out of here let's say good night good night <laughs> good night, good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs>